Hi, welcome to Mama Knows Best. I am Dr. Druti and the question I am going to answer today is why is mental health so crucial during pregnancy? It gets really stressful due to the hormonal changes and the physical discomforts like fatigue, breathlessness, nausea and phobia, unknown fears like is my baby growing well? Will I be able to bear the pain of delivery? So when I got anxious during my pregnancy, there were a few things that helped me and I hope they'll help you too. So let's see what they are. Number one on the list is auto suggestions or positive affirmations. Well, these are small statements or sentences using positive words and in present tense. And these are personalized suggestions as well. Like if you have thyroid, you can be focused on the issue and say my thyroid levels are getting controlled well. Or say if you're experiencing continuous back pain, auto suggestions would be individually focused. Like you can say my pain is reducing, I am feeling better and my back is strong. See, this is in present tense when you say you're already feeling better. Plus, it gives a suggestion to your body that your back is strong. Now, instead of thinking of something that will happen in the future, like I will feel better, here I am affirming that it is happening now. More importantly, if any negative thought comes in your mind, you should immediately try and block that thought, just stop it and replace it with something positive. Many times I felt a lot of anxiety about how my baby is growing, is it healthy or not. Even after my doctor had confirmed a healthy baby, what I would do is just place a hand over my tummy and keep saying my baby is healthy and it's growing well. I would keep affirming this and repeating this that my baby is fine and it's healthy. This is what we call in Indian tradition as Garbha Sanskar. Garbha means womb. And these are the samskar that we are trying to impart on the baby in the womb. Even our regular prayers are nothing but auto-suggestions. If you wish to know more on Garbha Samskar, I highly recommend this book by Dr. Balaji Tambe. I had also referred to another book available in Gujarati and Marathi only. That's by Dr. Geetanjali Shah and that was Suprajay Sathi Garbha Samskar. Another important point is that these affirmations must be in your mother tongue. Basically, mother tongue is the language you think in. If you think in Hindi, auto suggestions can be in Hindi. And if it helps you, you can also do an audio recording of these affirmations and or your prayers in your own voice and then just listen to it often. And while you're listening to it, just try and visualize as well. Now, the next thing is visualization. This is creating a mental picture of what you want like a smooth sailing pregnancy and a healthy child. You can visualize that you're already holding a little baby in your arms or you can visualize your toddler going to school. I'm not saying that just by fantasizing your unrealistic dream will come true. This is not just wishful thinking either. Say you're going for a job interview. You can be very nervous about getting rejected or not able to answer questions. Or you can try and visualize that your interview is going well and you're getting the job, right? That's all I'm saying. Imagine a positive outcome rather than imagining a failure. Next would be to combine these two with pranayam. By the way, pregnancy pranayam is not as your regular pranayam where you hold your breath. In pregnancy, you should never hold your breath and keep breathing constantly. Now during pranayam, I would sit comfortably in a quiet place, cross-legged or even just a chair at home or a corner in the office and just close my eyes, relax my entire body and take deep breaths. Breathe in, breathe out continuously. And while you're breathing, you can try and visualize that your lungs are getting filled with oxygen and that oxygen is reaching your baby and your baby is getting stronger and stronger. So here, You've combined auto-suggestions, visualization and both of these while doing your pranayam or breathing. Everyone talks about the physical benefits of yoga during pregnancy. But I learned that for the asanas to be truly effective, they must be accompanied with auto-suggestions. Here's how. 
So when I would lift my arms up over my head and do stretches for any asana, I would keep repeating that the stretches are helping my uterine muscles to expand and provide enough space for the baby to grow. Another example here would be uh, just before delivery, when your doctor tells you to start doing squats, you can start visualizing that your pelvic muscles are becoming stronger for the delivery and they're getting ready for the natural birth. So all of this is your asanas along with positive affirmations for your baby's birth and meditation as well. And lastly, music. Well, music is like a therapy to me. A nice, soothing, classical Indian music Maybe a gentle sitar or a sanai or any shlokas or om chanting. This would really calm my nerves. Om chanting would create a lovely ambience. It just depends on what sort of mood you like to be in. With all said and done, just remember that these techniques are no substitute for any medical treatment. I'm not saying you should ignore any physical symptoms and not see a doctor. Like if you feel the baby is not moving enough or if there's any pain or bleeding, just rush to your doctor and follow up with whatever advice he gives. Just basically do everything you can to minimize the risks and then change your focus to positive outcomes that may happen and allow yourself to dream of a future that you wish to build. Well, that's all for today. Up next, watch my video on what activities you can do during your pregnancy. If you're new to my channel, I suggest you click this link where you can see my entire playlist in order right from the beginning. Until next time, Namaste.